Love, love, absolutely love to get to be here. First up, all glory and honor to my heavenly Father, without whom I would not even have my name. Hello everyone, I am Godfrey Nazareth. Massively grateful to Daniel Kraft, Shauna Butler, and the Spectacular X Med team for this wonderful opportunity. Can everyone hear me? That, by the way, is not a rhetorical question. Talk about smartphone addiction. You can clearly tell, no pun intended, I am attached to mine. And if I lose my phone, I tend to become speechless, quite literally. But I promise I will not secretly check email or level up on Candy Crush as we talk. I know, with my rugged Greek godlike gorgeous looks, my ninja-like attire, and my absolutely brilliant accent makes it hard to see that I come from Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. As an innovator, biomedical product development engineer, formulation scientist, and entrepreneur, I have over 15 years of experience across a variety of companies and industries, including foods, drugs and pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and combination products. I have led ventures from pilot lab and bench trials to overseeing scale up and commercialization on massive industrial scales. In addition to designing medical devices and formulating pharmaceuticals, some of my passions include aviation and avionics, aeronautical and aerospace engineering, ballistics and rocket science, robotics, and linguistics and semantics. So much for my itty bitty introduction. Just a few short years ago, when I was still a young and dashing graduate student doing my master's in biomedical engineering at Drexel University, I begin to notice subtle changes in my balance and my speech. People around begin to think that I was probably partying too much. To cut a long story short, I was diagnosed with classical ALS. Thankfully though, I have the world's greatest neurologist, Dr. David Lynch, who regularly reminds me that Stephen Hawking was diagnosed at around the same age as I was, and yet lived a phenomenally long life, like a total rock star. I have learned that with every adversity comes the seed of equal or greater success, that our greatest personal challenges are gold mines and the biggest sources of opportunity. Over several years now of proactively battling the brutally painful symptoms of the disease, I have been able to successfully uncover several secrets to crush ALS I would like to share with you few of them today. Passion comes from old French Passio, which means intense pain and suffering. So then passionate becomes your willingness to suffer for a worthy cause. If you can find a cause that you are willing to die for, but instead you choose to live for it, you can become a total boss at crushing anything that stands in your way, including a condition like ALS. Compared to several other terrible neurodegenerative conditions, ALS affects motor neurons, completely sparing thousands of my abilities. Most notably, it spares all my senses, all my memories, my cognition, and of course, my amazing intellect. That last one, though, has always been a subject of intense debate, even long before ALS. Full responsibility can feel binding and acceptance be redeeming. Together both of them form a high talk, mountain moving couple. And when you accept greater responsibility, you are blessed with greater powers. It's an upward spiral. Humility is a tricky one. There is a story of a humble man in a village 
he was so humble that the mayor and villagers gave him a medal, the most humble man. The next day, he wore his medal, and then they took it back. The ability to stay humble can be very tricky. I have found we can get arrogant not only by our success, but also by our failure. Stay humble and stay hungry. Now, now, I have only lost my voice. Not my burning desire to preach, even if it means preaching to the choir. One of the many moonshots that I am privileged to get to work on is speech generating device technology. I have been building my own speech generating devices for about a decade. Because status quo technologies are massive, they are clunky, they are yucky and ugly systems that cost an arm and a leg to purchase, service, and maintain. Over the past few years, I have had the joy and honor of providing guidance to Project Vive, an absolutely amazing startup company out of Penn State University. They build truly revolutionary systems that are portable, super stylish, and are a fraction of the cost of a conventional system. I have made a commitment to helping them to get to their goal of a million voices by the end of 2023. Full disclosure, they don't pay me any money to say these nice things about them. Exciting news, they are getting ready to formally open up a seed round to angel investors, and I sense an impending feeding frenzy. It's an absolute joy, honor, and privilege to get to work with all the incredible rock stars at Project Vive. Let's pump up the volume. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Am I the only speaker who feels this way every time I am on stage? There will be times when you fall and times when you fail and people, family and strangers may intentionally or unintentionally hurt you by their thoughts, feelings, actions and inactions. If there is only one lesson you take away from my session today, forgive everyone wholeheartedly, unconditionally and abundantly. Also forgive yourself. We are all only human. Massively and eternally grateful to have these guys as role models. Love them like brothers. And about the middle photograph, where I am in the background typing away to glory as Daniel Kraft is taking front stage. We were tag team winging it in front of some of the galaxy leaders in MedTech at the Founders Forum in London. And I have an exciting story to share if you attend my breakout session. story of my life. How many of you can relate?
life is a tremendous adventure, and my battle with ALS makes it so much more worth living. Now, I am going to try something scary. Let's hope this works. Can we turn off all their lights in here, please? Can we make it pitch dark? Realize this, that even in the darkness, even if you feel afraid, you are not alone. And that the darker it gets, your love shines brighter. Let's set the world on fire. Let's change the world with love. Never gets old, huh? Nope. It kind of makes you want to break into song. I love the mountains, I love the clear blue skies, I love big bridges, I love when great words fly, I love the whole world, and all its sights and sounds, boom de a da boom de a da boom de a da boom de a da I love the ocean, I love the dirty things, I love to go fast, I love Egyptian kings, I love the whole world, and all its craziness, boom de a da boom de a da boom de a da have the light on. Boom de yada. How do I drop the mic? I am going to be doing a super pumped up, amped up, look ma, no hands, untamed, unplugged, raw and uncensored, nuts and bolts, ask me anything, breakout session. Hopefully someone shows up, otherwise I will have to play Candy Crush all alone. Thank you, Godfrey. I have a feeling you're not, you're not going to be playing alone. Um, I'll ask you one question. Um, you've got a lot of, you know, you're an innovator, uh, entrepreneur, inventor. You've got a lot of folks here who invent and create the future of healthcare. What one request would you have if you wanted some innovation into ALS that this community could help provide? He's the world's fastest typer, by the way. Build me a jetpack. <laughs> we'll have that for you next year. Thank you. Thanks, Godfrey. <laughs>